Clemson Memorial Stadium. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some full tips for the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Clemson Tigers. And here come the Tigers. Palmetto State. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Really excited you can join us today for this rivalry that used to be Big Thursday. The Gamecocks are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kirk. You know, I'm going to have to agree with that for one good reason. Clemson will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things that this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. And another thing, Clemson should have a lot of success passing the football. And the only thing that can stop this offense in this game is themselves. Kirk, that's not going to happen, my friend. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Here's the kick. Here's the call from the referee. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 yard line. The kick out of bounds has set him up with good field position. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And he's taken down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. He'll get the call again. Brought down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Number five with three wide receivers. And they make the stop. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. They're down in seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. South Carolina going with the wishbone here. They go with the run. And down he goes. They try to run on third down, but it was a bust. Yeah, look at that defense just swarming out there. They look like a bunch of buzzards. They send out the punting unit. Number 90, boots it way up there. Number 29, calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the six. Now we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll take over at the six yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. And he's tackled. That'll be a gain of three yards. The second down and seven to go. Ball on their own nine. 
Number three lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there. Coach. Yeah, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Third and ten. Ball on their own six. Number six. Lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Found his man. And he's all the way down to the 33-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. South Carolina brings in the nickel here. They'll throw on first down. There's a lob pass out to the left. Loss of three. Three-yard loss on the play. Second and 13. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with three wide. They'll keep it on the ground again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The game comes. Line up with six defensive backs. Under heavy pressure. And he throws it away. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away. Number 31 fields it at the 34. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw a screen. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Drops back to pass. Looks. Steps up. Across the middle. His receiver has it. Brought down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking rough. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Clemson brings in their nickel packer. Up the middle. Tackle. The fullback gains about four yards there. Gain of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 47. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receivers still can make the catch. You're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. Great. Catch the Tigers line up in a nickelback. Here's the give. Gets past the tackler, and he's tackled. And he didn't get enough for the first. You know, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. The 
The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He punts this one high in the air. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 25. South Carolina has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. The ball is tipped. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Number six has five receivers lined up here. He goes downtown. Got it ball. And he went way up and he's got the interception. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. They'll start this drive at the 44. They line up in a double tight set. Here's the give. And down he goes. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 50. South Carolina lines up in the bone. They'll give it off here. And they make the stop. And he gets a yard on the run. One yard gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 49. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Here's the pitch, left side. Spins upfield, and he's tackled. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move downfield. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. The game cut. Set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going right. Batted ball. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Gamecocks with a full house backfield. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They'll bring him down. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. down now and we'll see the punt team it's a high kick and it holds up there number 29 signals for a fair catch I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession they'll go to work at the 14 the Tiger set up in the gun and he's taken down the quarterback gets a couple on the draw play Two on the play. 
It's second down and eight. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number six with three wide receivers. Play action. Throws this one out to the right. It's tipped. Great defensive effort that time. Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 16. Clemson comes out with three receivers bunch. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's going right. The ball is tipped. Well, the defense did all there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 89 gets it off. Number 82 calls for the fair catch. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. South Carolina lines up in a double tight set. They go with the run. Tackle. Four, maybe five yards on the run. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 46. The Gamecocks come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. Here comes the pressure. He lets it go deep down the middle. It's intercepted. He tried to force that one in there. Yeah, but the safety made him pay for a terrific read and a nice catch. Set up shot at the 15-yard line. South Carolina lines up with five defensive backs. On the ground, up the middle. Brought down. They'll get six yards. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 21. The Tiger come out showing three wide. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. Find his receiver. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number six comes to the line with three wide. And down he goes. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Batted ball. Swatted away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. The Tiger go with the eye formation. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. And he's got it! And he's tackled. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Tigers line up with three wide. Gets the ball. No, they fake. Someone got a hand on it. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. 
They'll bring him down. No gain. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Gamecocks bring in their dive package. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Going right at him. He just didn't catch it. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is up. And it hits the upright. No good. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. the tailback and they hit him in the backfield that was a fantastic play by this defense <laughs> you're right poor halfback he had nowhere to go it's second down and 10 to go ball on the 22 They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call, only because they lost yardage. I tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee, you can never tell. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball in the 20. On the gun. Across the middle. Got it. And there's a fumble. Tackle. And so the offense will hang on to the ball. What was that tight end thinking? He can't keep making mistakes like that. And the next time, they're not going to be so lucky. So they're set to pump this one away. Number 90 gets it off. Number nine, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 38. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. And they have three receivers bunched. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. The ball is tipped, and the corner got in there and broke that one up. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. South Carolina brings in their nickel package. And they got him for a loss. It's an excellent job of the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread them out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. Third down, 15. Ball on the 33. They come out at a nickel. Back to pass. Wants to throw. Outside. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take his deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 89 gets it off. Number 31 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 36-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 36. Pitch is right. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 35-yard line. Here's 
the option. He takes a pitch. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They'll lose yardage on that quarterback keeper. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Getting into the backfield, breaking up that play. It's third down and 11 to go. All in their own 35. South Carolina comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. Dropped by the tight end. Gets it off. Number nine fields at the 31. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 35-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. He's looking for his man. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Second and ten. Ball on their own 35. South Carolina lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. Steps up. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Complete. And he's tackled. That's a seven-yard gain. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 42. They're lining up in the 5-2. They'll try to get the first on the ground. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down. And they keep it on the ground and pick up the first. Good third down conversion right here. Not a real big play, but this gives them a new set of downs to work with. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go to the air here and really attack this defense. First and ten. Ball on the 46. The Gamecocks line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Wilder through a screen. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. And he's taken down. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. Third and ten. Ball on their own 46. South Carolina brings in their nickel package. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. And it's intercepted. That interception was aided by the fact that there was a lot of heat on the quarterback. And he was in zone coverage. So as a corner, you just stay in your area and jump on anything thrown your way. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. South Carolina lines up in a double tight set. Toss. And he's stopped behind the line. Well, that play sure didn't work. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there, and they stopped it. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 47. South Carolina comes out in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 50. Clemson lines up with five defensive backs. 
Drops back to pass. Throws a lob pass out to the right. Almost intercepted. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 24 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 18. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football, or do they let her rip? They line up in an eye. Here's a little draw play. They'll drop him for a loss. Yeah, that time the defense was swarming to the ball and really didn't allow this tailback any room to run. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 17. Number three, alone in the backfield. Here's the pitch, left side. Takes off the tackle. And down he goes. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, third down. He got caught with his hands around the face mask. Yeah, but the referees felt it was an accident, so they only charge him with a five yard penalty. Third and four. Ball on the 24 yard line. Number six has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. Throws. Finds a man. And they make the stop. Wow. How about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Clemson sets up in the eye. go with a throwback. And they got him for a loss. They gave the fullback a shot at picking up yardage, but he couldn't get anything. That was a beautiful thing to see that defense crash in and bust up the play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Back to pass. Look. He wants to throw outside. Back to ball. And it's incomplete. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looking, and they get the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Punts the ball away. Number 31 takes it to 25. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they had the ball before? Exactly. He was three out so fast they had to ask for slow mo replay to recap it. They'll get the ball here at the 28 yard line. The game cut. Come out in a two tight end set. And he's taken down. He plows ahead for a two yard gain. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 30. The game cut. Line up with two tight ends. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked. Talk up a sack for the linebacker. They sent the senior on the blitz, and it really paid off for him. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. 
South Carolina comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. He gets it off. Number nine, fields at the 48. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. Single set backfield. They'll give it off here. Tackle. Look at nine yards on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 41. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. He spins. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of a yard. Third and two. Ball on the 42. Going with the shotgun here. Hit the pass on third and short. Across the middle, number six with the interception. He can scoop at the 40. And they make the stop, and they come up with another turnover. Now yeah, the defense is playing very opportunistic out here today. That was their third interception of the game. side of the 50 as they start this drive. South Carolina in a four wide set. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Here they come. He lets it go. Someone got a hand on it. Incomplete. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and just get his hand on it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. High formation here. They go with a pitch to the right. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. You gotta be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. South Carolina comes out of the shotgun. Trying to sell the run, but ends up on the ground. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. is doing everything they can just to call the plays and right now they're not having much luck at all drops back to pass steps up looks he's under pressure got him they try to throw for it but ended up getting sacked the defense stopped them that fourth down play was very important as far as the big mo is concerned now they have momentum on their side go for it <laughs> They'll start this drive at the 44. Number six with three wide receivers. They go with the run. 
sheds a tackler. And he's tackled. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Third and 10, ball on the 44. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Somehow gets the ball away. The blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house, and it was all they could do to get the ball out of there. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 89 gets it off. Number 31 takes it to 21. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. Number five is back in the gun. Drop back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Across the middle. They'll bring him down. A gain of six. On the reception. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 28. Clemson brings in their nickel package. On the ground with a tailback. Tackle. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's third down in the yard for the first down. Ball on the 31-yard line. Two tight ends set. They'll run for the first on third and short. And he's tackled. Now they stuck with a run, and it pays off for him. You know what, Brad? So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Clemson brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He steps up, looking, rolling out to the right side. He's got all day. He passes it. Got it ball. It's a tip for him to the 10. And they finally push him out at the 7. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. Up the middle. Juku. And he stopped behind the line. Didn't get anything. It's 
shoots up. And it is good. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. South Carolina ready to kick this one off. Number 16 and number 9 back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 16 fields it at the 7. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. off on the counter. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 22. Number three, the lone back. Drop back to pass. Across the middle. It's deflected. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 22-yard line. South Carolina has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Wants to throw outside. And he got this drop by the line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Punts the ball away. Number 31 takes it at the 47 with the spin. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. The Gamecocks come out showing three wide. Pass. Steps up. He's looking. Under heavy pressure. Across the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. off to the right. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Tigers bring in the nickel package. Throws this one out to the left. It's deflected. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you called that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. South Carolina ready to put this one away. Number 90 boots it way up there. Number 29 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 21-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 21. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Throws. And it's caught. They'll drop him for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 20. 
Number six comes to the line with three wide. He tosses it short, and it's going the other way. Another interception. That makes four on the day. Somebody needs to put a 10 over these guys, because this is just a circus with all these turnovers. The Gamecocks come out in the wishbone. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. Second and ten, ball on the 18-yard line. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. He'll dump this one off, and they couldn't hook up on that one. It's third down and ten, ball on the 18. Started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. They'll bring him down. They try to play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got out powered. Kick is up, and he got it. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 16 takes from the 10. I'm sure the coaches talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll start this drive at the 26. The Gamecocks bring in their dive package. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's under some heat. Going deep. Lays it out there. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. South Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. He's going left. And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Brought down. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. Up the middle. Tackle. Nothing gained on the play. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Get him out of his hand. 
How about that for close? No question. He just couldn't manage to gain control of the ball enough for the score. That's a tough break. It's third down and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number six with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Number 30 lines up for the field goal. It's up. And it sails through the upright. Time to take a look at the drive summary. Brought to you by Tommy Ash. Fuel for the soul. before halftime. Clemson lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number five is back in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. Clemson takes a timeout. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 21-yard line. This offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Drops back to pass. He steps up, throws this one out to the left. That is ball. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Come out in a punt formation. Number 90 gets it off. Number 9 fields at 46. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50. The game top. Bring in the nickel package. He's under pressure, and down he goes. This kid's been in the backfield all day long. Is, is he close to a record? Oh, yeah, Brad. He's going to tie the school record for sacks if he can take the quarterback down one more time. His ability to disrupt this offense and cause problems in the passing game has been absolutely <laughs> tremendous. What a day for this kid. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 44. Clemson comes out in the shotgun, steps up, across the middle. It falls incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball in their own 44. South Carolina brings in their nickel package. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Here they come. Look out. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. 
Nice job, guys. And roll. Roll on the 44 yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 31, back deep to return. Number 89 gets it off. Number 31 deals it at the 22. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut it down again right here. A minute left in the half. Number five with four wide receivers. He drops back. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 22. It's a full house backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He jukes it. And he's taken down. Clemson calls a timeout. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. The game cut with a full house backfield. And now he'll lateral it. Jets out. And they hit him in the backfield. Clemson takes a timeout. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 90 gets it off, and it's out of bounds at the 44. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 44-yard line. Number six lines up with five wide out. Drops back and back. Steps up, throws to the middle, incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious. Second and ten, ball on the 44. South Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Down the middle. It's deflected. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. South Carolina brings in their nickel package. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Deep pass down the right side, and it falls incomplete. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. They line up to punt this one away. Number 89, punched it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 6, signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 16-yard line. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Two-yard pickup. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Yard line. 
South Carolina comes out with two tight ends. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. South Carolina, six. Clemson, three. start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Number 16 takes it to 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 27. At the 27 yard line. First and 10. The Tigers line up with five receivers. And down he goes. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 29. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking. Let's it go. And got him to the 20. And they make the stop. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass to quite a few yards. First and 10. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. Across the middle. It's dropped. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 17. South Carolina lines up with five defensive backs. The counter. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 18. South Carolina has all their DBs in for this five wide set. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. <laughs> is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. And it splits the upright. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive somewhere. Over the middle. 
And he drops it. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. South Carolina lines up in a double tight set. Spinning. Can't wrap him up. And he's taken down. A pickup of four on the play. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 24. South Carolina comes out with two tight ends. Back to pass. Across the middle, and he can't make the catch. The tailback dropped that ball. And his technique was all off. He's got to do a better job next time. stalls and they'll have to punt it away he gets it off <laughs> number nine fields it at the 37 the offense ready to go again and their last drive ended with three points they'll set up shop at the 38 five wide drops back to pass he steps up. He's in trouble. He's rolling left. Got hit as he threw. Someone got a hand on it. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. South Carolina lines up in a dive defense here. Throws this one out to the left. What a pick! And they come up with a big, big interception. You might not believe this, but it looked like that quarterback threw it right at the defender. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number five with three wide receivers. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Number six is back in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. One yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 33. The Tiger come out showing three wide. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Great coverage and it's intercepted. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Excellent field position to start the drive. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Looks. He's rolling right. Under heavy pressure. Loses the football. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. And it looks like the big old lineman recovered that one. And some good awareness. He made a smart play to get on top of the football. They'll go to work at the 38-yard line. South Carolina puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Drops back to pass. Looking, steps up, throws short, and it's incomplete. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. Right. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. From the gun. Here's a draw. They'll drop him for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. South Carolina who comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Intercepted. And a fantastic individual effort on that one, Coach. Kirk reminds you a lot of alley ball. Yeah, Coach, I agree. It kind of reminds me of backyard football. You know, you kind of bait that quarterback, hoping he tosses it up, so when the ball's released, you just step up and make the interception. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. South Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Setting up the play action. He's looking. Got hit as he threw. Got it. He's all the way down to the 17. How about your assessment of that long play, Kurt? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and 10. Ball on the 17. They're in the red zone where last time they came away with only a field goal. Pitch is right. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That running back has to shake that tackle. Corners are not supposed to bring you down behind the line of scrimmage. Come on, Kirk. That was a good-looking play by the corner. He did a good job of wrapping up and not letting him go anywhere. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 18. Inside give. Tackle. They pick up a good six yards there. Now at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Number 16, fields it at the 7. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now we'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or do they let her rip? They'll get the ball here at the 24. The Tiger set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's under some heat. Throws to the middle. Way to look it in. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Second down and five. Ball in the 29. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Got it. Great concentration. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Over the middle. 
A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Here comes the pressure. Throws it to the outside. The quarterback's got to take some heat off these throws. I disagree. When you're out there throwing the football, your job is to get it to the receiver. It's his job to catch it. You can't catch it for him. That's exactly the kind of comment I'd expect from a quarterback. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 39. The Gamecocks line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Under pressure. He lobs it left. Complete. Broke away from one. And they push him out. Nice play call to get him a conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The game cops bring in the nickel package. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. All sides, over the defense. And they're just helping them out on this drive. Which is the last thing you want to do. They need to maintain a level of focus on the field and stop getting these silly penalties. First down and five to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Here's the give. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. And they have three receivers bunched. A little handoff. And he's taken down. Eight yards on the pickup. It's second down and two to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Number six, lines up in the shotgun, drops back to pass, throws it to the outside, and it's caught, brought down. Good yardage there, that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here, it looked like the defense might have been looking rough. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. Over the middle. Almost intercepted. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. Is it one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen? He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. I bet you that defender thought it was a pretty pass. Too bad it bounced off his hands. That should have been an INT. Number five lines up in the deep back. I formation. He drops back. Across the middle. He came down with it. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad. It's a good time to call. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. Two. 
Josh Gordon drive the last time out for this offense. They'll huddle up for this drive. They'll take over at the 18-yard line. Number five is back in the gun. And they make the stop. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 20. South Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Watch the throw outside. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 20. The game cops come out in a two tight end set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. They send out the punting unit. Number 90 gets it off. Number 9 takes it to 43. Well, the offense is back on the field again. In their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Inside handoff. Brought down. That's a gain of eight. With the carry. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 41. From the gun. A little handoff. Tries to juke. And he's going to lose yards on this one. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. We get third and three here. Ball on the 42. They come out in a goal line set. They go with the run, and he's taken down. They try to play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got out powered. <laughs> Controlling the line of scrimmage is crucial here. Steps up, throws. Complete. They get it on fourth down. Wow, what a gutsy play call there. That was a nice throw and a nice catch. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. South Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down. He spins around, and they hit him in the backfield. They get a one-yard loss one on that one. Loss on the play. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 39. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
Clemson comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number six calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the six. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, Tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the six-yard line. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Pullback on the inside is tackle. Five yards. Second down and five. Ball on the 11. They line up in an eye. Inside handoff. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 11. The Tigers line up with six defensive backs. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Across the middle, the ball is tipped. There's an athletic play by the linebacker. Listen up, my friend. Nowadays, the linebackers need to be able to do more than just stop the run. They've got to be able to fly all around the field and play the pass, too. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 90 gets it off. Number 9 fields it to 46. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Excellent field position to start the drive. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. He's in trouble. Short toss. It's deflected. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. Second and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Tiger come out showing three wide. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Three yard gain by the running back. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 40. Number six with three wide receivers. They go with the option. Now he pitches it. He might have a chance. He tries to spin. They'll bring him down. And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and ten, ball on the 30. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Here they come. He's going right. Batted ball. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tiger with four receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. Throws it deep downfield. And it's incomplete. He still hasn't completed a pass this drive. But we may see another one here. So another third down upcoming for the offense. 
South Carolina brings in their nickel package. He drops back. He steps up. He's going right. The ball is tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. Looks long enough. And it's off the upright. No good. They'll go to work at the 30. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass, steps up, rolls to the left, and they get the sack. So the linebacker will come up with a big sack there. Looked like a little confusion up front against the blitz. The quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball, and the pressure got to him. That's a good defensive play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Clemson comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He tosses it short, and he's taken down. A one-yard gain on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 29. Clemson lines up in a dime defense here. Pass. Steps up in the pocket. Wants the middle. Batted ball. In the coverage, and the defense has it. This defense just warms to a pass when it's thrown like that. And that's because of two things. Pressure on the quarterback and being in his own defense. Everybody's facing the play, and if you don't throw a perfect ball, it's going the other way, and a pick is not heard. Set up shot at the 45. The Tiger go with the eye formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Three wideouts here. They hand it off again. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Yeah, you know what they say about luck. What's that? Yeah, it's when hard work meets opportunity, my friend. South Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Throws, and they've got the screen set up. Spins upfield. It's not enough for the first. Cook, it looked like to me he just released it too early. Yeah, I agree, Coach. You need to be a little bit more patient in the pocket, especially on third down. They come out in a punt formation. Hangs it up high. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 29-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 29. South Carolina comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. It's deflected. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Second and ten. Ball on their own 29. 
South Carolina comes out with two tight ends. Here's a counterplay. And down he goes. That's a 10-yard gain. Third down and short. Ball on the 39-yard line. The game time. Line up in a goal line formation. A little misdirection. A short pickup that time. A short gain, but good enough for the first down. First down. That's the key to this offense, the ability to move the chains. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Clemson 13, South Carolina 9. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. They're going to pitch it. And they got him for a loss. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. So it's second and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Gamecocks line up with three wide. He drops back. Heaves a long one down the middle. Got it. And he's brought down. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The game cop set up in the gun. And the snap goes to the back. And he's tackled. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Gamecock come out the shotgun. He's under some heat. He throws it, and it's caught. Tackle. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. They'll give it up here. They'll drop him for a loss. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Older on the offense. Tim Marconi still He grabbed him there. Those kind of penalties are the ones that drive coaches crazy and make them turn red. That's a 10-yard penalty that doesn't need to be committed. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 23-yard line. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. And he's taken down. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And this crowd is going crazy. Touchdown. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Right. 
and he tacks on the extra point. Better than 12 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter with the score, South Carolina 16, Clemson 13. like they're ready for the kick. And it's a short kickoff. Number 16 takes from the 10. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. Clemson lines up for the shotgun set. Dropping back to pass. He's looking deep down the left side. Someone got a hand on it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Tiger go with the eye formation. They get it out there on the cross. And he's going to lose yards on this one. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Third and long. Ball on the 19-yard line. Number six comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. And they got it. There was just not enough people to brush. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get me. They send out the punting unit. Didn't get all of that one. And it's out of bounds at the 37. What to look for on this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well in that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. The ball is tipped. Picks it off. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is full of playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. The Gamecocks bring in their dime package. He drops back, steps up, he's looking, lets it fly. In and out of his hand. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Number six is back in the gun. He's going to take off. Well, he sure didn't burn the defense on that run. Yeah, I think he needs to make wiser decisions back there. You hate to see a kid get injured out there. Third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Clemson comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Game deflected. He threw that one up for grabs. 
Yep, the reason why the defender was able to get to that one was because the quarterback put a little too much air under the ball. That allowed the defender time to recover and make a good play. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He gets it off. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing the pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? As you know, a quarterback needs a short memory. So I really don't remember, Scooter. You know that one. Number five lines up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And this one's going to get intercepted. Why would you make a pass like that when you've got the lead? It's simple. You don't. That was not a good choice by the quarterback. It sure wasn't. Call another play. Dump the ball short. Call a draw play. Run a sweep. Something. But don't put the ball in the air where the defense can make a play. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Over the middle. It's deflected. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and ten. Ball on the 48. The Gamecocks line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. With the throw. Complete. Oh, he got nailed on that one. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. They have to try to convert here. Setting up the play action. He's going right. The ball is tipped. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. They'll go to work at the 41. The game top with a full house backfield. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And he couldn't go anywhere on that one. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 37. The Tigers bring in their dime package. Wants to throw outside. And he's brought down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. South Carolina lines up with three receivers. And he stopped behind the line. Here the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37. South Carolina comes out in the shotgun. Throws this one out to the left. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get back to basics. Hey, Coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk. We almost caught that one. Third 11 coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number five comes to the line with three wide. 
And he's going to come up with a sack. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass run? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the back to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Pounded for seven sacks so far. Watch out. This defense might get him again. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it away. Number 24 signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 12-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's looking for his man, and it's caught. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. And they back up three yards on that play. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the nine-yard line. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. They go with a run. And they make the stop. A good six yards there by the fullback. Gain of six on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 15. South Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Fourth and second. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts it. Number 31 takes it to 47. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. Excellent field position to start the drive. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. And he's stopped behind the line. No gains. Second and ten, ball on the 43-yard line. The Gamecocks come out in a shotgun. He drops back. Lofts this one out to the left. Complete, and they got him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Back to pass. Lofts this one out to the right. And it's caught. He spins. And he's tackled. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 90 hunts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 24 calls for the fair catch. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll take over at the 17. The Tiger line up with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Looking. Steps up. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 17.
number three is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He unloads it. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. What an interception. That couldn't have come at a better time for the defense. And it couldn't have come at a worse time for the other guys. This turnover might be the decider. side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. In and out of his hand. Second and 10. Ball on the 46. The Tigers line up in a nickelback. It's a direct snap. Makes a move with the spin. Tackle. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. They come out with a big set. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And he pulls it down. And down he goes. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and 10. Ball on the 24. The game cut. Come out in the wishbone. A good six yards there by the fullback. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Spin move. Brought down. Gain of two. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They go with the toss. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. it up and it's wide left no good they'll start this drive at the 22 one man backfield they'll throw on first down and he's going to be sacked for a loss well, you can't blame the O-line when it's a cornerback who gets the sack. Yeah, especially when it's a crafty veteran like this guy. He does a nice job of disguising the blitz before the snap. You're exactly right. He's been playing one of the hardest positions in college football for four years now, and you can't do anything on offense that this young man hasn't seen already. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 15. The game time. Bring in their dive package. He's looking. He throws a dart to the right, and it's incomplete. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Third and long. 
Ball on the 15-yard line. South Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. They come out in a punt formation. Number 89, punts in, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 31, signals for a fair catch. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. And off to the fullback. Fumble! Defense says they've got it, and they do. This guy sure came up with a huge play right there, didn't he, Coach? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that fumble recovery changes the whole complexion of this football game. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. The defense lines up with six DBs. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. The Gamecocks line up in a nickelback. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, under heavy pressure. Wants the middle. Oh, what an interception. I can't believe what I just saw. That one really stings. I mean, they were either going to find Taylor for six, or that kicker was going to get these guys into overtime with a field goal. Man, what a game. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. The game comes. Come out in a two tight end set. Play action. Here comes the pressure. Wants to throw outside. And down he goes. That's a seven yard gain. Seven yard gain on the play. It's second down and three to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. The game cops. Line up with two tight ends. Back to pass. He's under some heat. With the throw. The clock will stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 43. They come out in a goal line set. Try to power it with a fullback. Bounces off rookie tackler. And he's taken down. Clemson calls a timeout. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 90 gets it off. Number 24 calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the six-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. And it looks like we have our Old Spice players of the game. Clemson sets up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. He lets it go, complete, and they got him for a loss. Loss of a yard. And they'll go with a no huddle. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Off his hands, incomplete. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Three. 
It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the five yard line. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Swings it out to his man on the screen. That's a loss of about three. Clemson takes a timeout. They have to try for it here. He drops back. He steps up, looks. He's in trouble. Wants to go long and does. Uh, and he can't make the catch. They couldn't convert that fourth down. But look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They go with a the run. They'll bring him down. Clemson calls a timeout. Touchdown run by the halfback. Yeah, pretty simple here. He just took the football, knew where the goal line was, and got across for the touchdown. It's the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is South Carolina 23, Clemson 13. for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number nine takes it at the eight. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Gamecocks bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. Steps up, he pumps one, pressure coming, and he's going to come up with a sack. Has never had any defender with this many sacks in a single game. What a day. This kid has really made his presence felt out there today. He's been beating down the quarterback's neck all game, and he's got the school record in the process. Lee, you realize that nobody that's ever played football at this school has registered this many sacks in one game on an unforgettable performance. The Tiger set up in the gun, steps up in the pocket. He's under pressure. This one's thrown deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. That play looks familiar. Yeah, this is something this coach does on a regular basis. He's not afraid to call the same play if he feels the defense is in a compromised position. You're right, but I'll be surprised if you see it again here. Obvious passing situation here. Back to pass. He steps up. Across the middle. Oh, great catch. Brought down. 
And on fourth and long, they convert it. Guys, I can't believe what I'm seeing. That was a heck of a play. Five wide. They'll throw on first down. Looking. And he just gets rid of it. That's twice now they've called that pass play. Defense did a nice job here of forcing the incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Clemson in a five wide set. He drops back. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Well, is this one any different than previous years? I'm going to tell you guys something. It doesn't matter what the record is. It doesn't matter who beats who the past few years. The only thing that matters is who focuses on a game and gets it done. And our winner did just that. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2005. Our final score, South Carolina 23, Clemson 13. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so 